Hey everyone, this is Jasmine and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will understand the core differences between N unit, X unit and MS test. So the first difference is isolation of test. X unit framework provides much better isolation of test in comparison to N unit and MS test framework. This is because for each test case, the test class is instantiated, executed and is discarded after the execution. This ensures that the test can be executed in any order as there is reduced or no dependency between the test. Executing each test as a separate instance minimizes the chances of one test causing the other test to fail. There is also an option to share, set up or clean up code that can be shared between different test cases without the need to share object instances. The one way of doing this is via class fixtures. XUnit has excellent documentation on how to share context between tests. The second one is extensibility. When we need to do NUnit versus XUnit versus MS test, extensibility plays an important role in choosing a particular test framework. The choice might depend on the needs of the project, but in some scenarios, extensibility can turn the tables around for a particular test framework. When compared to MS test and N unit frameworks, X unit framework is more extensible since it makes use of fact and theory attributes. Many attributes that were present in N unit framework are not included in X unit framework. Introduction of the theory attribute for parameterized test is one of the prime examples of the extensibility of the framework. This also makes the implementation of custom functionality much easier in XUnit framework. Initialization and deinitialization. XUnit starts a new instance per test, whereas in NUnit and MS test framework, all the tests execute in the same fixture or class. XUnit uses the class constructor for the implementation of steps related to test initialization and iDisposable interface for the implementation of steps related to deinitialization. We will understand all these through the examples in the later video. The last one is assertion mechanism. X unit framework makes use of assert dot throws instead of expected exception which is used in N unit and MS test. The drawback of using expected exception is that the errors might not be reported if they occur in the wrong part of the code. For example, if assert has to be raised for security exception but authentication exception occurs, except expected condition will not assert. On the other hand, assert.close raises assert even if the exception is generic. This ensures that assert is raised even after the exception is raised. If this is confu confusing for now, we will understand this with an example. And thanks for watching.